What's going on guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are finally able to complete all 10 out of 10 spectral reflections to get the Seeing Ghosts calling card on D Machina. Uh, up until today, it's only you've only been able to get 5 out of 10 and they just released them into uh, the community. So it's not entirely sure whether it was just kind of glitched out. It was some kind of bug that wouldn't let them spawn in or if they just chose to not put them in quite yet. It's a little bit weird. Obviously, you don't need to do uh, these five spectral reflections in order to do the Easter egg or else obviously we wouldn't have been able to do it up until now. But we, uh, of course, we can. But you're going to have to do everything in this order. So basically, you're what you're going to do is do the Easter egg, right? In order to get this, you're basically going to have to come just one step shy of completing the Easter egg. Pretty much, you're going to have to do it until basically right up until the boss fight. You probably, if you've been doing this, if you've completed the egg already, you already have five out of the ten. But you're going to have to do it in this particular order in order to get all five. Because if you do this at all out of order, portals will not spawn in and you will not be able to go into the dark ether. And you have to be in the dark ether in order to see these ghosts. Okay, so we're gonna go through the steps right now. Again, do it in this order. This may change, but as of right now, you have to do it in this particular order order. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, by the way, while we're here. All right. So first of all, turn on power and pack a punch just like normal. I'm not going to go through all those steps. I'm just going to go through the steps to see all 10 ghosts. Um, if you don't know how to do any of these things, I have a, a power and pack a punch guides on my channel. You can check those out. And if you need an Easter egg guide, I, the only reason why I haven't put one out is because as far as going solo, which is how I play, it's still glitched. And the only way to do it, I made a video on how to use the um, ether shroud to teleport through the barrier. Um, so I don't have a an Easter egg guide on my channel for you to check out, but I'm sure you can find one, no problem. So again, turn on power and pack a punch. Then you build the ether scope, and then you go to the speed cola portal and you do the first two diary steps like normal, the first two ghosts like you would normally do. You do not go to the third ghost down by where you build the ether scope yet. Do not do that yet. You can do the first, you pick up the diary off the desk. You can talk to the first ghost uh, right below there. You can talk to the second set of go uh, the second ghost in the control room. And then from there, do not go to do the uh, by the ether scope desk, the buildable table downstairs. You want to go to the uh, where you do armor repair and speak to the ghost there that's in the particle accelerator room. So you can speak to that ghost right there. If you do these quick, you can get more than one knocked out uh, per per round, based per visit to the dark ether. The next new ghost that you're going to find is going to be by the where you get the die shock wave. So in knocked down on the bottom floor in the original spawn room, meaning back at World of War original spawn room of knocked, there you will see another um, another spectral reflection down there. Just interact with him, you're all set. From here, now you go and do the third diary ghost step. So the ghost that you see down at the etherscope bench. You can interact with him at this point. And then from there, we're going to continue. You just do all of your wonder weapon upgrades from here. Okay. When you come to do the step where you pick up the wrench, you do not talk to those ghosts. So normally where you would speak to the ghosts right outside of where the computer is that you interact with to pick up the wrench. Do not do that yet. First, when you're in the uh, dark ether, you're going to go up by the down plane. There's a tree right next to it where the, uh, you can tell, you know, the tunnel will take you down the ether tunnel, go around the backside of that. And there will be two more ghosts that you can interact with there. 
after you go speak to those ghosts, then you can go back and speak to the ghost with the wrench. Then you pick up the wrench, go out to the tank, bang on it three times, shoot the guy that pops up, throw a grenade at the uh, door on top of the tank, pick up the part, bring it back down to the speed cola room and put it in cabinet on the wall. From there, you're gonna go to the knocked portal and you go to the pond area for the next ghost, okay? It's over by where the uh, the far, far, far end, by the over by the tunnel entrance. Interact with the ghosts there, and from there, when they start talking, you can head down into the control room, which is where you get the uh, challenges that you can complete. Head down into the control room. There'll be another set of ghosts there. You can interact with them. And then the very last ghost that you need to talk to is in Noct, where you speak to Orloff down in the bedroom part of Noct. So th again, these five, the original five, I'm sure you already know about, just in case you didn't, here they are. Um, but these ones, these new, in order to see these new ones, to get this calling card and to complete this task, these spectral reflections, you have to do it in this particular order, or else it just won't work. I d had done it on stream earlier today, and thanks for everybody that showed up and hung out, and we would find a portal, go through it, we'd walk around, find a couple of uh, ghosts, interact with them, and then a portal would never spawn again because I did one of them out of, out of order, and we ha I had to figure out the order a little bit later. Anyhow, guys, that's it for now. I will be back with another video or stream very soon. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your new calling card.